Hey up gang. Oh, wrong the camera. Oh god. Great start. Hey up gang. So, this is my old setup. So if you're an OG here, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia. I don't know why I'm doing this as I'm filming. YOLO. <laughs> oh god, such a man oh that was such a millennial thing to say. Oh. YOLO. And living my best life. I feel like living my best life is a millennial thing. Mm, is it? Anyway, doesn't matter. The lighting is really bad from this side, so I thought I would just do my old setup because I did spend so much time perfecting my wall as well. <laughs> Literally just got some command strips and stuck them up. But I'm gonna do a chatty style video, but not whilst I'm getting ready. I'm gonna tell you how I manifested my first PR event because this is something that was really exciting for me. I just wanted to do something that was really fun. I wanna help you manifest all the things as well, especially if you're a business owner, you're a content creator, you're a TikToker, Instagrammer, YouTuber, and you wanna start getting in those brand deals, those PRs, anything like that. I'm not saying I'm an expert at it, but I'm saying I've crossed the first hurdle, bitches. So let's go together. Before I start, let me just tell you that I have a membership and it's really fucking good. Okay, it's a manifestation gang. How cool is that? I give you everything you need to program your subconscious mind. Sleep affirmations, belief work, journaling, identity, everything. It has everything. <laughs> I'm so theatrical. I used to go to drama school, you know. Can you tell? Can you tell? But I give you everything you need in order to change your life, in order to manifest the life you want and manifest it on autopilot as well. Not this constant trying and feeling like you're suffering and you're struggling to get what you want. Fuck that. We're going to manifest fast and with ease. If you would like to join us, the link is down below. If you are a business girly, then you'll be pleased to know I am adding in a business workshop. Ah! That is going to be there at the start of next month. March is all about getting your bag up in business. Yeah, I'm excited for March. So if you would like to join us for that, there's going to be two monthly trainings and a new workshop, new EFTs and new sleep affirmations. All for your business, baby. Come join us. Come on, come join us. So, let me tell you. Okay, so I wanna preface this by saying, my business is not just purely the intention of getting brand deals, getting PRs, anything like that, getting sponsored. My business is, I'm a manifestation coach. I teach you how to get what you want, and I do that through digital products, services, and my membership. That is my business model. And TikTok is a tool I use to market that. Instagram, no, not so much. I have a new Instagram, I'm gonna put it up here. If you don't want to follow, well, you can follow my personal one, but I don't post anything to do with business on it. I only post that on my new business one. So yeah, I do, I am getting better at Instagram, but I also market on YouTube as well. So they're all just platforms for me to get my business out into the world. I never had the intent, like for as much as I wanted like 10,000 followers, all that kind of stuff, it wasn't purely my intention to do that so that I could get money from the followers or TikTok or YouTube, anything like that. It's a way for me to market my business. But... As my followers were going up, I was thinking, hey, I could probably get some perks from this. Like, I could actually be a PR girly. <sighs> Listen, I'm not gonna sell out. I'm not gonna put you onto any brand for the bag. When it comes to the PR and the things I put on here, the things I'm gonna put on here are stuff I genuinely use or genuinely love that I've just discovered or I've been using for ages. I am not gonna be putting you onto bullshit just for the sake of a paycheck. Absolutely not. But seeing as I have so many followers now, I was like, I may as well enjoy some of the perks of these followers. I may as well do cool shit with my favorite brands. So let's manifest it. And so that's like one of my January goals, to manifest something fun. Just something fun with one of my favorite brands. Now, because I'm not a lifestyle, well, I'm kind of lifestyle because I'm improving. Is that the rain? <gasps> it was the most beautiful, oh my God. Oh my God, I've got my rubbish pajama bottoms on. Are these stained? Do you, can you, I don't care. <gasps> wow, oh, this weather is so, so bipolar. I knew I should have gone for a walk earlier. The, the blue sky was really blue in earlier. <sighs> England. When people say they moved to England, I'm like, why? 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 Like, I get it can be a safer country and I get there's many benefits to England in terms of like the infrastructure, but I'm sure you can get them in sunnier places as well. I'm gonna show you outside the window. Like, you literally like, yeah, I want to move to England, like, why, bro? Why? <laughs> why, brother? Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, back to what I was saying. 
So yeah, because I am not a beauty content or lifestyle content kind of like TikToker, let's call me, digital creator, content creator, I was like, may not be as easy for me to land this kind of stuff. And I actually do think it is a block on my part because I have a friend and she doesn't have as many followers and she just thinks getting PR and getting sent brand stuff is the easiest thing in the fucking world. And she does, a lot. And I'm like, I need to start with that belief system. But anyway, I digress. I decided in January, like, okay, let's manifest some cool shit. So I started affirming for it. I started scripting. And not like, not like overly, because this is just like a nice cherry on top to the business I've created. It's, it's not like my main focus. So I'm like, I'm not going to deep this too much, but this would be fun. So I just added it into my scripting here and there. Said a few affirmations, not a few affirmations, but like, you know, I added it into my daily affirmations, like, I get to work with my favourite brands, this is really cool. Or I get to do fun shit with my favourite brands, let's say. I get to do fun shit with my favourite brands. And another thing, if your belief is high enough, you can just set the intention for this stuff. You don't have to affirm it, you don't have to change your identity on it. If you've got a business or a TikTok or an Instagram with a lot of followers, you can just set the intention, like, I get brand stuff. By the way, one thing I do like to do is put people onto like up and coming brands because I believe like small businesses, they need to be shown. If you would like to send me your products, please send them to me because if I love them, I will put them on my YouTube. Not if I don't like them, I probably won't, I'm not gonna lie. But if you have just started a brand and you've got this up and coming business and you wanna get it showcased, send them to me. Send them to me. I would love to see them. If you have a massive brand and you love my energy, Send me your shit, babes. I would love to showcase it. <laughs> I'm just selling myself for the clout now, aren't I? No, I'm joking. But I mean it. If I love something, I will. I, the one thing about me is I'm a fangirl. F A N girl. That was awful. That was so cringy. I'm sorry. I've been watching a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race this week. But I'm a fan girl. I queued up for three and a half hours in January last month. I queued up for three and a half hours to see D Block Europe, Young Gads and Dirt Bike. That's right, three and a half hours at HMB. And I was severely sick as well. I'm not even exaggerating. Because if I'm a fan, I'm a fan. So if I love your products, I'll put them on. Hey George. One second, my mum's called me. You don't disrespect your mother. When your mother calls, you answer, okay? She put me down. <laughs> mother, Georgie. Oh my gosh. Anyway. So yeah, that was the first thing I really started to do. I, I just started to tap into the manifesty side of stuff. So like programming my mind, setting the intentions, visualizing how cool it would be. And then all of a sudden one day I woke up with the inspiration to make a media kit and send it out to my favorite brands. I don't know why I didn't think of this off the bat, first and foremost, but when you program your subconscious mind, when you do this manifestation stuff, you will just naturally be guided along the way to do the right things. So that's probably why. Let me show you. I think I need to update it actually. Oh no, I've got it in my files. Oh, uh, where is it? Media. There we go. So I need to update it because I've got 70,000 followers now. This says 69.8. <laughs> so I must have only updated it a few days ago. But this is my media kit. So I did a cute little bit about me, my analytics, a little bit about me again. By the way, if any of you have any ways on how I could improve this, I would love to see it. Love to hear it. Um, but yeah. And I sent that out to my favourite brands and a lot of them didn't hear nothing back. That's cool, that's fine. Again, we're keeping like this not that deep energy around it. This is not gonna affect our self-worth if this doesn't happen. It's not gonna ruin our day. We're not gonna sit there waiting for the emails to pour in. We're not gonna do any of that. We can expect them. We can be like, do you know what? I know people are gonna wanna work with me. Not only have I got a lot of followers, or maybe you're a micro-influencer. Maybe you've barely got any followers. There are literally some brands out there that love working with like the 1,000 to 5,000 follower range because as long as your engagement's good, like they don't care. Like they really want to work with micro-influencers. So you can do this at any point of your journey. The point is we're not gonna wrap our self-worth in what they're doing. We are gonna stand in our self-worth. We're gonna know our content is good. We're gonna know that our energy is good. We're gonna know that we're manifesting it and it is gonna happen when it happens and we're gonna have fun until it turned up. And that's exactly what I did. I just got about my daily life. This was not a big scope of my life that I was really focusing on. It's like I said, it's the cherry on the top. 
Now, if you are a content creator full time and you do rely on PR and brand deals, then I would strongly encourage you to be making this a part of your daily routines, your daily affirmation work, your daily identity work. I would like you to position yourself in your mind as an expert, as a leader of your industry, whether you have one follower or 500,000 followers, I want you to be turning up every single day like you have a million, like you have all these people commenting on your feed, like people are expecting you to show up that day. Stop programming your mind as the creator that you want to be. This is actually something I really did to grow my TikTok to where it is now. I saw myself as a content creator for my business. I saw this as the best marketing tool for my business and I saw this as my way of getting in clients and changing people's lives and I really, really looked after that. I made sure I was showing up three times a day. I made sure, this is not the first beginning, I don't show up as much now, but I made sure I was showing up three times a day. I made sure people were seeing me. I made sure my content was getting put out. I made sure I was spending time in my week, like, because I had a full-time business that wasn't this back then. So this was like my side thing. I made sure I was making time for it and I was making sure I was showing up as the content creator that I wanted to be then. This was with like barely any followers. I hadn't even reached 100 yet. I was still showing up like that. And now I'm at 70,000 today. And I also programmed my mind for this. I scripted it. I think I've done a video. I think I've done it. Did I do a YouTube on this? I don't know if I've done a specific YouTube on the scripting process I use, but I've definitely done TikToks on it. Did I do one last week? How? I do a lot of content because I am now that content creator, I am now that digital creator, I am now that business owner that has a full time business doing what she loves, content creating for her business. So this is my reality now and the reason why it's my reality now is not only was I taking the action on it but I was building up the beliefs and the mindset and the self concept behind this life that I have now. So I was telling myself I'm a content creator, I have X amount of followers, my audience loves my content, my content changes lives. My content is so engaging, people love to comment with me, people love to work with me, all of those kind of things. So if you are purely a content creator, whether that's fashion, beauty, gaming, anything, stop programming your mind with this new reality. Start asking yourself, the person who I want to be, who has the lifestyle I want, with the business I want, the content, because it is a business, content creation is a business, what do they believe about themselves? What must they be believing about money, their business, their follower count, their content? What must they be believing? And start programming those beliefs in. Today, if you would like my help, like I said, I can help you with this in the membership. By the way, Dr. Jot did not email me back when I sent them my media kit. They didn't say, hey Lydia, thanks for the email. Lovely to meet you, but girl, no. They just, they just didn't reply. And my friend told me, because she had experience with this, from a job she used to work in, that this is what some brands do, they'll just stick you on the PR list and they're not necessarily gonna create that relationship with you straight away, but they'll just keep you in mind for a later date. Dr. Jart was one of the first brands I reached out to and they sent me an email a few weeks later like, hey Lydia, would you like to come down to London? We have a brand event on and we'd love for you to be there. And I was like, ah, yes, yes I would. Because bear in mind as well, when I went to D-Block, the gig, not the album signing, but the gig, I don't know what, D-Block, please send me free stuff. No, I don't want free stuff, I just want music. And I mean that with by the bottom of my heart, I just love your music. But I set the intention when I went to the O2 to see D-Block, because they sold out the O2. I'm sorry, I need, I need to stop fangirling on that. This is what I mean, I'm a fan. But when I went to see D-Block, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. That was the first time I'd been to London, probably in about two years. And um, I love London, I'm obsessed with it. In fact, I lived in London before COVID, like the year before. I lived in uh, near Tower Bridge for a few months. And so I love London. I love just like going down to London on my own. And I really fell out the habit of it after lockdown. So I was there the other week and I was like, oh, I just wanna go down to London more. So this was like part of that manifestation as well. You can tell I'm gassed. So on Tuesday this week, I went down, and I'm not gonna lie, I did feel like a little bit of like, not an outsider, but I'm not a beauty guru, so like there's all these influencers, like influencers in the wild, like filming their content. But I loved it, I started talking to a girl, she was really cute, we started getting on, we swapped Instagrams. It was really nice, I love networking. They gave me a temporary tattoo, I don't have it on anymore, it was the, I think I scraped the last bit off in the bath today, and it was all to promote their Seeker Pair range. And so I was just going for a good time. I was only just going because it was a fun thing to do. It was a day out, it was London. It, it was just wicked. And as I left, they handed me a bag with all this skincare in it. And I've honestly been so excited to try this range for the longest time. And I can say, I am actually obsessed. This one I think I used too much of when I tried it. I haven't tried it again since. It's the Quilla Correcting Treatment. And I just think, I think I love it. 
Lathered? Lathered. I think I lathered it on and that's not how it's meant to be used. It's almost got like a, so it's green and it's going to turn beige, it's going to match to your skin. I think I whacked it on like it was a rich intensive moisturiser. So I'm going to try that again and try it in the actual way. But this, hold on, hold on, let me practice. Ah! But this, so the intensive soothing repair treatment lotion and this, I understand why they do this now. The so soothing treatment, mwah. Everyone's already been commenting on my skin already and I also follow that up with the Relida moisturiser. And I also expect that as my followers go up, I'm gonna enjoy more perks from this because it's a natural part of content creation, the more followers you have, like the more you're kind of accessible to these brands. So yeah, I expect plenty more of this. And that is something I said as I left the shop in London, I literally walked out the door and I was like, more of this universe, more of this. I'm saying yes to this, more of this. So I am expecting more of that to come in the future. So do what I do, apply everything I've just said, start creating the mindset of somebody who gets this kind of stuff. You can apply this to any area of your business, by the way. It doesn't have to be this. This is just something I thought I'd share with you. Start adopting the mindset of somebody who gets to have this stuff. Start working on the mindset of, I get to do cool shit with brands I love. My business does really cool shit. I love how fun my business is. I love that I get so many perks in my business. And especially if you're a content creator, please, 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 if that is your full-time gig, please start working on producing amazing content. Doesn't, I don't mean high qualities in like theatrics and cameras. I mean like, I mean content your audience will love. FaceTime content is very big at the minute, like how I'm doing now, just chit-chatting with you. Start creating content that is of high, the highest quality. Start posting every single day. Start showing up as the content creator you want to be and then work on the mindset around it. And I promise you, I'm living proof that it will come into your life and that will be your reality, babes. I promise, okay? Put these things into practice and your life is going to change. You will create the business, the content creating business that you want. I'm also gonna keep you updated on this journey. If anything else pops up, which I'm sure it will, because wow, fucking wouldn't it? I'm gonna keep you updated on the things that happen and also updated in the business in general because it's really fucking cool. I love what I do and I wanna help more people do what I do, which is why, no, I mean, no, do you know what? That's the wrong thing to say. Well, no, actually, it's the right thing to say. <laughs> I'm currently helping one friend grow his TikTok and he's gone from zero to a thousand in the space of a fucking week. A week. A week through the stuff we're working on. I'm helping other friends. Like, I love doing this stuff. I, I love doing this stuff. I actually do love helping people build their TikToks and anything like that and the business around it. I really do. But just anything in general that you love doing, any entrepreneur stuff, any business stuff, that is my favourite fucking thing to work with people on. My favourite, 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 because it's my passion in life. So, like I said, if you want to be in the business workshop next month, in the membership, you're going to want to be in it, because I'm going to give you some fucking juicy stuff, okay? If you would like me to cover any more topics or you have any questions, please pop them below. Let me know what you think to this video in the comments, and I will see you next time. She pocket dialed me. And she's gone out for dinner with my grandma and my dad, like, what the fuck? Where was my invite? Mom.